Are you ready, kids? Aye, aye, Captain! I can't hear you! Aye, aye, Captain! Oh! <laughs> Throwback greeting. Hello, scholars. Hello, hello, it's so very good to see you. Hello, hello, how are you today? Hello, hello, it's so very good to see you. Hello, hello, time to sing and play. Hope you guys enjoyed that throwback reading. I didn't know I was gonna do that until literally just this second, but whatever. I hope you're having a fantastic day, a fantastic week. We're gonna be getting into some pretty cool music stuff that I'm super excited to teach today. So we need to warm up our bodies, brains, and our voices as always in order to do our very best. Let's stretch. Reach down to your toes now. And let's just hang here for a couple of seconds. So you're gonna get a blank sort of screen. Hang there, feel the stretch in the back of your legs. Obviously, if it's a little bit painful, then you can ease up on the stretch. But if it feels good, just hang there for a few seconds. And now slowly stand up. Don't need to move too quickly around your neck a couple of times. Switch directions. One more deep breath in. And then out. And let's shake it out extra fast today, okay? One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 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 One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. 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 One, two, three, four, five. 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 One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. 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 One, two, Wonderful job, everybody. Let's move on to Zumba rhythm. So just like last time, if we see a whole note or ta a a a our four beat um, note, then we're just gonna freestyle during those four beats. Here we go. Tikam, tiki tiki tikam ta. Grasshopper, cinnamon, tim ka. Ta a a a. Nice job, everybody. Watch out for our timkas and our tikans today. Okay, that's where it might get a little tricky. Two, ready, and tikam, tiki tiki tikam ta. Grasshopper, cinnamon, timka. Tim Katiti and Ta 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 Ta. I don't know 
why this beat is slapping today, but it really is. Oh my goodness. Okay. Uh, sweet. I have nothing to say. <laughs> Ready and tikam pa. Grasshopper, cinnamon, tim ka. Tiki tiki tim ka tiki. Let's move on to the vocal part of our warm-up for today. Let's go. To warm up our voices for today, everybody, we are going to sing through a little bit of a vocal exercise that I taught you a while back. I don't really know what to call this thing. I sometimes call it one, one, two, one, or I just call it sort of the number staircase because we kind of treat our notes like stairs. I'm sure some of you already remember what I'm talking about, but in case you don't, here's a quick review. If this note is number one, then we start here. One, one, two, one. One, two, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, three, two, one. You already noticed that I'm just sort of climbing up one additional stair every time I sing through the song. And then I magically jump up to note number eight, and then we go down one step at a time. Sing through with me. One, two, ready, go. One, one, two, one, one, two, three, two, one, one, two, three, four, three, two, one, one, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, five, four, three, two, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, eight, eight, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight seven six five four three four five six seven eight eight seven six five four three two three four five six seven eight eight seven six five four three two one two three four five six seven eight. If you manage to keep up with me for even a couple of seconds, nice job, everybody. Let's move on to our main activity for today. We're going to be talking all about something called intervals today. Exploring intervals, practicing them, talking about them are one of my favorite things to do in music. But instead of just jumping straight to talking about them, we're going to start off by singing a song that some of us might remember from an earlier grade. This song is actually all about intervals. Or, at the very least, it's good practice for some of the things we're going to be using today. Follow along, sing with me, and do the hand motions as well. Let's watch this video together. Oh, 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 oh,
wasn't one of my goals to get that song stuck in your head, but I imagine that some of you might not forget that song for like the next 18 weeks. I don't know. Either way, sorry, not sorry. Now that we've gone over that song, we can start talking all about intervals. Intervals. I've said it a bunch of times already. Intervals. 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 So let's define what this word means. In music, intervals are the relationship between any two notes. And we can use the word interval to talk about the distance between notes on both our staff, as well as notes on the piano, or any other instrument. The name of the interval has two parts. First, the type of the interval, and second, the distance the two notes are from each other. To find the distance two notes are from each other, count the lines and spaces on the staff separating the two notes, including the line or space the first note is on. For example, if we have this F and C on the treble clef, we will count the F space as 1, the G line is 2, the A space is 3, the B line is 4, and the C space is 5. So the distance these two notes are from each other is a fifth. Let's do another example in bass clef this time. If we have this B and D, we will count the B line as 1, the C space as 2, and the D line as 3. So the distance these two notes are from each other is a third. I want to take a couple of seconds and show you intervals on something that is shaped like a keyboard as opposed to the staff. So here we have nearly an octave of our piano keyboard. Right now we only have C all the way up to B, but for right now, my picture does not have the next highest to C, so you'll just have to imagine that sitting up here at the top, okay? Now, the nice thing for us is that we were just referring to them earlier as Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, Ti, and Do. Now, normally, we might think about these notes in another way, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. But for today, I want us to think about the same notes as numbers. C becomes our first note, so one. And then we just count up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then eight. Using these numbers, we can name the intervals between our first note and then whatever note we're referring to, like this. If we're trying to name the interval between C and D, or our first and second note, the name of that interval is Second, because first, second, whatever the, the last note is, is what we name the interval. And we follow that pattern all the way up. So the interval between C and E, or our first and our third note is third or third. The name of our interval between the first and the fourth note, or C and F, is called a fourth. The interval between the first and the fifth note, C and G, is fifth, you got it. The first and the sixth note, C and A, is a sixth. The distance or interval between C and B is a seventh. And then the interval between C and then the next highest C is just called an octave. So that's how they look on the piano, but let's hear how they sound. If we have our notes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All of you should remember our number staircase thing that we sang earlier. Let's play a second. Here are the two notes. That was C and D, and then if I play them at the same time, it sounds like this. For the rest of our intervals, I'm going to start by playing each note separately and then playing them together. Here's a third. C and F. C and G, C and A, C 
and B. C and C. Fantastic job, scholars. Now, to finish off today, we are going to do one final thing with Do, Re, Mi. I said earlier that this song comes from a movie, so I figured what better way to end our lesson than by watching the part of this movie that has this song. So without further ado, here is Do, Re, Mi from The Sound of Music. I invite you to sing along whenever you want. Enjoy. And with that, we are done for the day, scholars. Thank you for spending so much time with me, going over some really interesting music things, and singing a lot today. Love you all so much, miss you all so much. Take care, and I will see you next time. Bye, everybody.